guys my name is candy nicole welcome back to arise so you guys i'm going to jump right into the message for today did you know that faith is one of god's love languages well a friend of mine dropped that little nugget on me all right so there is a book it's called the five love languages and many of us identify with these love languages for us it is words of affirmation acts of service receiving gifts Quality time and physical touch could be one of your human five love languages. Well, for the Lord, it is adoration, which this week I've mentioned that word to you guys. It is praise, it is worship, and it is also thanksgiving, okay? But one of the things that the Lord loves is whenever you have faith in Him. So many of us at some point in time have had an issue with identifying God as kind of like a human parent, kind of like a human being, a person, a human. And we have kind of put him in that category without even realizing it. And what I mean is that you have been let down by humans. So sometimes we might put God in that category thinking he is going to let us down. But the Lord loves it whenever you cross over that. Whenever you begin to have more trust in him, begin to have more faith in him and what he is capable of doing. It's like a father. Whenever he tells his child that he's going to do something for the child and the child just knows, my daddy going to come through. And that's how God wants you to be like, my daddy going to come through. All right. What is impossible with man is possible with God. Like I was saying, faith is one of God's love languages. He loves when his children have faith in him and what he is doing, what he is capable of doing in your life. It says in many of the scriptures in the Bible, it says your faith has made you well. He tells them to go. Your faith has made you well. And this is in the passages where Jesus healed the people and told them your faith has made you well. He told this to the 10 lepers. He told this to the woman with the issue of blood. And he also told this to the blind man. The Lord today is telling you the same thing. Your faith has made you well. Are you truly believing? God is wanting us to believe again, to have childlike joy and believe in the promises that he has told you that he is going to deliver upon in your life. If he is not a man and he does not lie, why do you doubt him? Yes, he might take a while. I ain't going to even lie to you. He might take a little while, but he be telling me, he be correcting me. He be like, Candy, I'm always on time. And I will tell you one thing, even though it seems like it takes forever, when the Lord comes through, it's always on time. He's reminding me of the song that he gives me sometime by Brian McKnight. It's called Back at One. And there's a part in there where it says, farewell to the dark night. I see the coming of the sun. I feel like a little child whose life has just begun. You came and threw, hold on. You came and put love into this lonely heart of mine you threw out the lifeline in just the nick of time the lord literally throws out the lifeline in just the nick of time okay so we're in proverbs 3 verses 5 and 6 it says trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways submit to him and he will make your path straight he has the right time for everything you guys there's an appointed time for everything. The suffering is not going to be forever. It's building you up. The Lord has a purpose. There's a testimony attached to the things that you have gone through. He wants you to stay the course and know that he is going to come through. In fact, he wants you to start looking around at how he has already come through for you. Look back at what he's already done for you. Hasn't he come through for you? It might have seemed like... <laughs> Lord, where you at? All right. But it happened right on time. Um, the Lord is reminding me of an example that there was an apartment that I wanted. Okay. I'd applied for an apartment and I just knew that my income tax was going to help me to get into this apartment. I did my income tax and it did not come. The Lord provided another way for me to get the money for this apartment. He held my income tax for me for seven months. It took seven months for me to get my income tax, but the income tax came right whenever I lost my job, okay? So 
the Lord has a plan for you guys. He Sometimes he holds a seed for you. Sometimes he's doing things behind the scene. You think that something should go this way and he's saying, no, we're going to go that way. But I'm still going to get you to the destination that I have for you. Hold my hand and trust me. I'm going to walk you right into your promised land. So it says in Matthew 18, 2 and 5, and calling to him a child, he put him in the midst of them and said, Truly, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Whoever receives one such child in my name receives me. The Lord is wanting you guys to have childlike faith. I challenge you guys to ask God this question, to send this up to him in prayer today. If you are having spouts of doubt, I want you to ask God to help your unbelief. There's someone in the Bible that says, I believe, but help my unbelief. That might be you today. Ask the Lord to help your unbelief as he ushers you into your new season. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. You guys go check out CandyNicoleArise.com. We have some ebooks on there. In fact, there is one that is completely free to you. It's a fasting guide. And it's a pretty intensive fasting guide. Uh, there are most people. They would have charged y'all for that. Okay. Um, what I mean is I, I, I bought some of these ebooks and um, they would have charged you. So y'all go check out this completely free ebook to you about reclaiming your joy. There's a season that is coming and it's upon us now where the Lord is coming and cleansing you. He's clearing out things from your past. He's wanting you to enjoy what he's bringing you into. In order for you to enjoy what he's bringing you into, you have to let go of that old baggage. You like that lady, the bag lady, okay? He goes, bag lady, you go miss your bus. You can't hurry up. You got too much stuff. You ca you carrying around too much stuff. You need to let that stuff go so that you can move forward into your new. God has something beautiful for you, and it is time for you to walk into your new. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, y'all.